got the uh, the Ben news extremely late, and it was kind of catching us all by surprise. So I can only imagine how surprised you guys were. But when did y'all actually find out that he wasn't going to be out there? And obviously, what was your reaction to just hearing that he had COVID and things like that? In meetings in the hotel, you know, and we found out like the night before. Um, he's fine. He told us he's all fine and everything. He just, you know, he was feeling a little ill and yeah. he got tested and he had it. And we just had to go with the next guy up. And, you know, Mason put us in a lot of great situations this weekend. And, um, we just weren't able to come out with it. Now, I'm curious about this because we've had a lot of injuries and Minka's on the COVID list now taking place over these last few weeks. And I'm kind of depressed about it because I thought we were – hitting our stride these past few games. Do you guys have like a timeline or feeling about when these guys are going to get back? Like how is this information being relayed to you? Bro, the same is relayed to you. Sometimes we just see on, it Twitter. on Twitter. For real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda. Isn't that what you white kids say? <laughs> no, I never did that, dude. I never did that. I didn't like that. You never said that? No, no. <laughs> Uh, Big probably say you owe me a not. pop. He, he's more of a pop guy. Yeah, yeah you do say pop around here. Yes. Pop. <laughs> pop. But uh, yeah, dude. No, it just we we find out the same way. It's just uh, something that you have to do. Next man up type mentality. I'm sure that's what Coach T said. Yeah, that's all we got going right now. Absolutely. Now with Mason, you mentioned him. What did you think about his performance? Short notice, obviously put us in you're right put us in situations i mean we had a couple of those drives in overtime what did you think of his performance overall how do you look out dude, there in terms of even like leading the team and stuff dude was pretty uh comfortable man like i don't know it just seems like he was more poised than he was two years ago you know what i mean uh he um definitely showed some growth and maturity in situations we definitely got the ball moving and got him to you know, Cadence was a weapon for us this last weekend, and he did that really, really well. That's Those operations are really hard to do, especially, you know, to prepare as a backup throughout the week and to be able to go do that. It's exciting. Well, shoot, not just the Cadence, man. We're seeing him catch guys 12 men on the field. I mean, he definitely was, you know, good in terms of situational awareness and things like that. 